Good afternoon. Uh, this is my the the left or the this isn't working. Okay, thank you. This is this these are my disclosures. This presentation, this uh, study uh, purpose is to evaluate and compare the functional, anatomical, and safety response after the long-acting intravitreal sustained release fluoxenolonacetonide implant, Illuvian, and dexamethasone implant, Ozordex, in the treatment of diabetic macular edema in vitrectomized eyes. This is a single-center study developed in Centro Hospitalar Universitario do Porto. Uh, this is a re retrospective comparative analysis of uh, 20, uh, 14 vitrectomized eyes. In group one, we had uh, 24 eyes uh, with uh, an Illuvian implant. In, in group two, 16 eyes with uh, an Ozodex implant. The outcome measures included mean changes in BCVA, central foveal thickness, IOP, and additional therapies needed. Uh, Concerning baseline characteristics, we only find, find the, the differences, significant differences in pseudophagic phagic ratio and in the number of prior steroids injections. Uh, those uh, characteristics, those parameters were higher in group one. Uh, the mean time between vitrectomy and the implants, the intravitreal implants, was uh, not significant different be between those groups. Uh, regarding anatomical effectiveness, we observed a decrease uh, in group one until the, the ninth uh, month, and in the group two until the third month. Regarding functional effectiveness, we observed an increase in BCVA till the ninth month, and in group two till the second month. Uh, I must say that uh, maybe uh, questioning these results at uh, one year of follow-up, we didn't observe a, a clinic, a, a significant uh, difference between groups, maybe because the, the number of patients who achieved that follow-up was uh, smaller, only eight patients. Concerning the additional therapies and safety outcomes in group one, None of us received, uh, needed to receive additional intravitreal injections during the follow-up period. 20.8% had an increase in IOP requiring further IOP lowering medications. In group two, 50% uh, of cases received uh, needed to receive uh, further intravitreal injections during the follow up. And 31.2% had an increase of intraocular pressure needing further uh, additional therapeutics. Uh, two of these eyes needed a surgical approach. In conclusion, treatment with flucinolone acetonide and dexamethasone implant led to a statistically and clinically significant improvement in both vision and diabetic macular edema in difficult to treat vitrectomized eyes. Uh, Illuvian demonstrate longer and more significant results in visual acuity and macular thickness and seem to have a more st uh, acceptable safety and profile, particularly in uh, intraocular pressure. Also, uh, we, we can, with Illuvian, uh, this long-standing corticosteroids um, injection, improve a, a patient's quality of life, reducing possible inje hospital injections and appointment burdens. Thank you. I mean, there's a big difference between uh, both groups. I mean, fluosodilon obviously is, is, is much more superior in vitrectomized eyes. Why, why do you think this is more superior? Because of the non-biodegradable component? Uh, in, in, con in functional anatomical results, uh, it, it has a, a sustained uh, release. Yeah. Uh, it, we can. We already performed the study in vitrectomized eyes and, and compared with non-vitrectomized eyes, and we, we found no difference between groups. So uh, the, that's uh, an important issue. Also, um, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh, uh, one, one, one more thing. Uh, with Illuvian, we don't have fluctuations in uh, macular uh, yeah, did, edema or... Yeah. Did you observe uh, what, we, what we've seen with uh, Dr. Salam, where you get the uh, implant? Yes, uh, yes once. <laughs> it's very easy. It's if very you, easy. Yes. Okay, so you have to be careful with that. Yes. Oh, okay, thank you very much.